Hey learners, hope you all are doing well and I'm sure you all are taking care of yourself. Let's start with our Vedic Math series. In the previous three sessions, we are discussing one topic that is multiplication of two numbers which are near to some same base. Now to wind up with that topic, we'll discuss the third case in that category in today's session. So in the previous session also I had told there are three cases. Both the numbers are lesser than the base. Both are greater than the base and one is lesser and one is greater. In the past three sessions, we have discussed that case two and case one. Now today's session will discuss case three. That is one number is lesser and the other is greater than the base. Okay, so stay tuned till the end. Please watch the video till the end. And I'm sure for this video also, you're going to make 100 plus likes. Isn't it? Yes. So let's start with case three. That is one number is lesser and the other is greater than the base. Okay. Now you may say how to deal with this case. Not that difficult. Same like previous. Only when the deficiency is one positive, one negative. So when you multiply it, the answer is going to come negative. So how to handle that negative part? That's what we are going to discuss. Okay. We'll take one example. But the basic rule is going to remain same as the previous two. Okay. And don't forget this all cases are coming under Nikhilam Sutra. We are going to multiply 13 into 7. Okay. So our task is to multiply 13 with 7. Right. Now, as always, like in the previous case, first consider the base. Now you can observe that they both are near to 10. 13 is 3 more than 10 and 7 is 3 less than 10. Isn't it? Okay. Now what we have to do is decide the base. Now base is decided. Now second step is find out deviation. Now 13 is 3 more, the so deviation is 3. But 7 is 3 less, the so deviation is minus 3. Okay. Again, like the previous cases only, crosswise add, okay, to get the first part of your solution. Now tell me 13 minus 3 is 10 and 7 plus 3 is also 10. That will give you first part of your solution, okay. Now you may say why I have written minus 1. I'll come to it. First, tell me 7 plus 3 or 10 minus 3 is 10. Now, can you tell me the second part, which is 3 into 3, that is 9, but it is minus 9. And we have to write minus 9 as 9 bar. Okay. Now, this is one mathematical notation, also called as Winkulam number. Okay. They are special numbers written as bar above, above it. But actually, 9 bar is actually complement of 9. Okay. Now what we'll do is 3 into 3 and therefore complement concept comes into picture which we have discussed in the previous session. Okay. So 3 into 3 is minus 9 but we are going to use the notation as 9 bar. Okay. So that is called as Vinculum number also written minus 9 as 9 bar. Okay. Now, what we have to do is, when you get the second part as negative, take its complement. Okay. So, 9 complement is 10 minus 9. But when you take complement, reduce 1 from the first part of your answer. It is like borrowing. Okay. So, now tell me 9 complement that is 10 minus 9, is 1, will be the second part. 
and 10 minus 1 is 9 will be the first part of your solution. That's all. Isn't it simple? Yes. Just what you have to do is, when you get the second part as negative, okay, take its complement. But you'll, t you'll say complement is always subtracting from some nearest base. So you'll take which base? The one which we had decided before starting multiplication. So we had seen this, this both number are near to 10. So you have to subtract from 10 only. Okay. And when you take its complement, subtract 1 from the first part of your solution. I hope you are getting it. Isn't it? Let's solve some more example to make your concept more perfect. Okay. Now we'll take 93 into 103. Can you tell me, are they both coming in case 3 category? Yes. One is lesser than the base and another is greater than the base. So our task is to multiply 93 into 103. Isn't it? Yes. Now first step is decide the base. Now first base is 100. We can easily see that they both are near to 100. So base 100 is decided. Okay. Now second step is find out deviation. So 93 is 7 less than 100. And 103 is 3 more than 100. Is it clear to you? Now can you tell me the next step is finding out the first part. Now you know that the first part is diagonally addition. So 93 plus 3 is also 96 and 103 minus 7 is also 96. Okay. So actually you are going to get first part as 96. Now you may say why minus 1. Again in the previous example only we have discussed. I will come to it again. Tell me 7 into 3 is 21 but it is minus 21. Now we will write minus 21 in Vinculum number as 21 bar okay but now write that 21 bar as its complement and complement is subtraction of the number from its base and what is the base 100 so what i'll do that 21 bar that is 21 complement is 100 minus 21 now tell me how to find complement nikhilam rule all from 9 and last from 10 now 9 minus 2 is 7 and 10 minus 1 is 9. So the second part is 79. And I told you when you take the complement of the second part, you have to reduce 1 from the first part. So the final answer is 95, 79. I hope you are getting it. Isn't it easy? Yes. Let's solve one more example quickly. 108 into 94. Tell me fast, quickly, what is the base? 100, isn't it? So multiplication of 108 with 94. The first part is find out the deviation. Okay, 108 is 8 more than 100. 94 is 6 less than 100. Okay, now tell me what is the first part of your solution? Diagonally you have to add. So 108 minus 6 is 102 and 94 plus 8 is also 102. Isn't it? Yes. Again you may say why 1 subtract. I am coming to it. Now tell me the second part is how much is 8 into 6? It is 48. And it is minus 48. So you have to write Winkelum number as 48 bar. And what is actually 48 bar? 48 bar is complement of 48. Now what is the base? Base is 100. So you have to take its complement from 100. So 100 minus 48. Now tell me 9 minus 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 10 minus 2, 8 is 2. So you will get 52. And one less from the first part. So what is your combined answer? 10152. Okay. That's all for today. Keep learning and keep evolving. 
in next session we'll discuss something more thank you god bless you